Okay, now on the topic of linear equation, you will most commonly be asked to solve for equations like that, which means to find the unknown value. Okay, so now let's take a look at part A. If you are given x minus 1 equals to half x, okay, always remember to identify the terms that are in the same family. So you see, in this case, I have x. Okay, any numbers in front of x, as long as they're multiple, they belong to the same family. And then you would have the number, which is just a constant. Okay, so what would you do? You would have to actually combine them together. So I'll bring this over. I have x minus away half x, okay? And then I'll bring this negative one over, which is one. Now, what can you notice or what do you notice? Do you notice or rather do you actually see that I have actually changed my sign? Okay, so what's the key takeaway from here? Now, whenever you shift the terms Okay, to the, when you shift the terms to the other side of the equation, okay, you always have to change your sign. Okay, this is really crucial. Okay, so now once you're done, you have 1 minus half, and that will give you half x. Okay, so you would have half x over here equals to 1. And then 1 divided by half would therefore give you 2. Okay, now if let's say you are solving these kind of questions, you're new to questions like that, and then you're, you know, you're unsure whether you're correct or not, suck in. Okay, so let me show you a trick to check your own answer. Okay, so let's see. Checking answer. Okay, now on one side, you have x minus 1, right? So let's say I suck x equals to 2 over here. What would by x minus 1 be? x minus 1 would te technically be 2 minus 1. So therefore, I'll get 1, right? Okay, now on the other side, I would have half x. So again, I sub x equals 2. What do I get? I'll get half and 2. So therefore, I'll get 1 as well. Now, are both of these numbers the same? Yes, which means your answer for 2 is correct. Okay, now then let's take a look at the next part. I will have 2y minus... Okay, so let me change color. I'll have 2y minus big bracket... Okay, 7 minus small bracket 5y minus 4 and then it goes to 6. Okay, now this question is a little bit confusing because you have a bracket in a bracket. Okay, which means what? Which means you have to break them down into different steps. So step number 1. Okay, I will look out for this portion. So look at the highlighted portions, 5y minus 4. Okay, notice that in front of your bracket you have a minus sign. So remember in my notes I mentioned that once you have a minus sign in front of a bracket, what do you do? You always have to change sign inside the bracket. Okay, which would also means that if this is 2y minus 7 minus 5y, I will change this to a positive, okay, and then I'll have a 4, okay, which would give me 6. Understand? Alright, then that's step 2. Okay, let's break them bit by bit. So now I'll break up the big bracket, which is... Okay, so I don't want this big bracket anymore. I will have 7 plus 5y minus away 4, which will give me 6. So you notice the same thing. Now I didn't change color, but my sign also changed. So because of the because of the negative sign in front of this bracket, I changed my sign inside the brackets. Okay, so moving next, okay, we would have to combine them in the same family. So notice this, I have Okay, I have 2y and 5y's. Now, always carry the sign in front of your number along with you. So, for instance, I have 2y minus 5y. Okay, then I will also have a minus 7 minus 4. Can you see what I'm doing here? I actually put them and group them in the same family. So, therefore, okay, this would give you 7y minus 11 equals to 6. So, same thing. Apply what you have learned above, okay, by bringing these terms over and then changing sign. So you have 7y equals 6 plus 11. Okay, so indicating that it is plus 11 over here. Uh, so please take note. Okay, so therefore you have 7y equals to 17. And then because this is a multiple, right? Alright, so if you want to bring this over again, okay, bringing terms over, okay, especially if it's a multiple, you will divide. Okay, divide on the other side of the equation, which means now your 7, okay, becomes, your y becomes 17 over 7. 
okay now always learn to simplify these to simpler terms so you would have a 2 3 over 4 okay so now again if let's say you're new to this kind of questions you know you are not sure uh, sorry 3 to over 7 if you are not sure as to how to actually solve this kind of question or are you actually right you know you might second guess yourself again check your answer okay so what do i do i will sub y equals to 2 3 over 7 into your equation now do you need to write this down no uh, this is just for your own look so again i have 2 2 3 over 7 okay or maybe i can just write this as 17 over 7 okay minus big bracket 7 minus 5 17 over 7 okay minus away a uh, 4 close my bracket okay what do i get over here okay press into a calculator so you just need to press calculator now what are the main common mistakes students will always make even your press calculator please include your please include your brackets please okay brackets are very important important include your brackets because without your brackets your number may differ okay so please uh, don't check answer and still check the wrong answer okay so therefore your final answer that you should have in your in your calculator should be a six so this tells you what tells you that hey it is exactly what the equation is giving me so therefore my answer is correct okay now let's move on to the next part part d okay now part d okay look here part d they tell you how one three over four x minus five equals to zero point five x okay so you would have three okay so this is part d i'll have three over four x okay minus five equals to zero point five x so you see, can you apply the same concept again? Group all those in the same family on the same side. Okay, so what would I do? I will have 3 over 4x minus away 0.5x. Then I will bring this over, which is a 5. So notice again, okay, second reminder uh, that you have already changed sign for the terms whenever you bring them over. Okay, so what do you do next? You will press in your calculator if let's say you are not sure okay you have 3 over 4 minus away 0 0.5 you get 1 over 4x equals to 5 again if i want to shift this 1 over 4 over because i only want x equals 2 what do i do i'll take 5 divided by 1 over 4 so what would your answer be okay your answer would be a good 20. now again don't know if your answer is correct right so check your answer okay check on one side 3 over 4 20 minus 5 what do you get you will get 3 3 over 4 20 minus away 5 you should get a 10 okay so this is on the left hand side then on the right hand side do you get the same thing i have 0 0.5 times 20 do i get 0 0.5 i times 20 do i get 10 yes i get 10 as well so this means your answer for x equals to 20 is correct okay mm -hmm. so now from here you actually learn quite a few um algebraic you know uh, terms and rules okay so please write them down in your additional notes to help you in your future questions okay